Good afternoon, everyone. Before we get started, let's get our weather for the upcoming week from Colin Schaefer, our junior meteorologist. All yours, Colin. Thank you, Mayor Davis. Good afternoon, everyone. This is your junior meteorologist, Colin Schaefer. Before I get started with my weather report, I want to congratulate Mr. Kenny Copas on being elected to be our freeholder again. Keep doing a great job as you have been doing. Also, congrats to Maria Valdeo, Doc Watson, and Christopher Munez, who all won the seat on the Bayonne Board of Education. Now, let's get started with my weekly forecast. It is, it is currently 66 degrees, mostly sunny. Tonight, it will be partly cloudy, cloudy with the low 51 degrees. Tomorrow, we have partly cloudy with high 69 degrees, low 51 degrees. Saturday, we have sunny with high 71 degrees, low 48 degrees. Sunday, we have sunny with high six, 67 degrees, low 49 degrees. Monday, we have partly cloudy with high 69 degrees, low 55 degrees. Tuesday, we have partly cloudy with high 69 degrees, low 62 degrees. And Wednesday, we have rain with high 69 degrees, low 55 degrees. Thank you for watching. If you knew or watched my web, haven't watched my web reports, you might see videos of Mayor James Davis and Bayon only on Facebook and Twitter, and YouTube is Gregory Buck Shoani. Mayor Davis, back to Yale. Thank you, Colin. As always, it's great to see and hear you each week to give us our weather report for the upcoming weeks. Good afternoon, everyone. Election day has passed and I want to express my gratitude to all of our residents that voted on Tuesday. I want to congratulate our Congressman Albi Osiris and Donald Payne on their re-election. Also our county freeholder Kenny Copez on his re-election. Our community also elected three very capable people to the Board of Education. Board President Maria Villardo, Vice President Chris Munoz, and new trustee Doc Watson. I'm confident that these dedicated members of our society will work hard for both our students and our taxpayers. As our state of emergency is now in its eighth month, I want to remind everyone to continue to use COVID sense. As I've been saying, our responsibility is to, to those that are most vulnerable. Continue to use good hygiene. Use masks when you can't properly social distance and protect the elderly or anyone with health conditions that may amplify the effects of the coronavirus. Bayonne has seen a continued rise in residents that are testing positive for COVID-19. However, we are not seeing an increase in hospitalizations, which is very good for us. So please continue to use caution and care in all your activities to help slow the spread. Okay, that's all for this week. Be safe, be well, and I'll talk to you next week.